Hi everyone. I am Maria Thomas Varapilli of Standard 7. So now I am standing before you just to show my textbook and notebook activities from the chapter Rhythms of Life. So now let's go through it. First of all, I am showing my notebook. Unit 4 Rhythms of Life. Here is the picture description questions. And I have added a few more images in the picture that represents modern lives. These are the pictures. Here is the short biography of the poet Christina Rossetti who wrote the poem to my mother. Answer the following from the chapter and I have written about my mother. Here is a short biography of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. A word web. These are two greeting cards. I have prepared a card for the birthday of my mom and I have prepared a teacher's day card. Here is the biography of Mary Dow Bryan who is the author of Somebody's Mother. Answer the following from the chapter. Rhyming words. A dog in the fog is a rhyming poem of my own. Acrostic poem. Extra questions questions given by Sister Niranjana. Next chapter the wooden cup. About the author Tomiko Victorini. Answer the following from the chapter past tense present tense and continuous tense and then extra activities the gift of the magi is a story i have prepared a card for grandparents day what is national grandparents day extra activities from the textbook These are the questionnaire questions I have written about happy home. Next chapter a village puram, different types of puram. I have written about the shur puram and this is the author Anita Nair. I have written about her. Answer the following from the chapter. These all are the extra activities. activity 1 activity 2 and other activities from the textbook regular work and irregular work in this chapter we could learn a lot of grammar which is very interesting then this is the last activity extra activity active words and the movements Here is the textbook activities. You will four rhythms of life. First chapter to my mother. I have uh, marked past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. Here are the questions from the chapter. Extra activities. Next chapter, somebody's mother, which is written by Mary Dow Bryan. I have marked the same way in this poem also. Extra questions and activities. Acrostic poem. The next chapter, the wooden cup, which is written by Domenico Victorini. Questions are given. Cite, and I have answered all those. extra questions wheel web next chapter a village poem which is written by anita nair i have marked in the same way past tense present tense and continuous tense extra activities from the chapter i have completed all the activities in the textbook hope you all enjoyed thank you Thank you. Hi friends, I am Vyakesh Srijit from Sendrisa CGHSS. 
Today, I am taking you all for a journey through my English note and text. Rhythms of life. Hope you like it. Thank you. Friends, my name is Amrita Viraj. I am here to show my test book and notebooks. Let's go on. Hello friends, I am Elie Sivani from 7th Standard, a student of St. Teresa City HSS Ernagula. Today, I am in front of you to present my English textbook and notebook on the unit for the rhythms of life. In this unit, there are short story and poems. It's very interesting and it teaches many lessons. So now, let's watch my English textbook and notebook. This is my textbook unit for rhythm of life. This is a poem about mother written by Christina Rossetti. This is also a poem about mother, somebody's mother. This is a story, the wooden cup. Here I have marked past tense, present tense and continuous tense. A village Puram. This is all about my test book. This is my notebook, unit for rhythm of life. To my mother. This is a biography about Christina Rossetti. Past tense, present tense. These are the test well questions. The wooden cup. These are the testable activities. A village tour. These are the testable activities. Regular verbs, irregular verbs. This is all about my notebook. Thank you for watching. Hi friends, myself, Amrita Blash from 7C. Today, I am here to present my English textbook and notebook from the unit Rhythms of Life. So, let's go through it. Unit 4, Rhythms of Life. I marked present tense, past tense and continuous tense in each pages. Red is past tense, green is present tense and yellow is continuous tense. I put question marks for the words I didn't understand and underline the words I like. The wooden cup Questions and answers. Textbook activities. A village forum. Questions and answers. 
textbook activities and answers. Idea get from the first picture. Extra activity pictures about modern world. To my mother, short note about the author, present tense, past tense, continuous tense, opposites. Questions and answers, active words, textbook activities. Somebody's mother, short note about the author, present tense, past tense, continuous tense, opposites. Questions and answers. Textbook activities. The wooden cup, short note about the order, present tense, past tense, continuous tense and opposites. Questions and answers. Textbook activities. Short note about the order, present tense, past tense, continuous tense, and opposites. Questions and answers. Textbook activities. Work. Pictures and notes related to various cultural activities. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Anstani from Hindresa CDC Sernagulam. As we all know, we complete our fourth unit, Rhythms of Life. Now, let me introduce my textbook and notes. Let's watch it. Unit 4, Rhythms of Life. To my mother. Somebody's mother. The wooden cup.
Unit 4, Rhythms of Life. Picture reading, page number 110. To my mother, answer the following. Biography of Christina Rossetti. Activity 1, my mother. Activity 2, Features of Greeting Card. Somebody's mother, Mary Downtrain. Picture reading, page number 113. Answer the following. Activity 1. Activity 2, Alliteration. Activity 3, Rhyming Words. Activity 4, Couplets. Activity 5, Acrostic Pop. Spider Web The Wooden Cup Biography of Domenico Victoria Answer the following Extra Question Answers Biography of Anida Nair. Answer the following. Act 
with the seven. First habit happened in the past. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Activity eight. Activity nine. Activity 11, my findings. Activity 12. Activity 13. Presidents continue stems from to my mother, somebody's mother, the wooden cup, a village forum. Hello everyone, I'm Aral Namis. Today I'm here to present my English notebook and this book based on the chapter The Rhythms of Life. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hello, I'm Andre Philomena Mendes from Sandersa CTSS Anara. Today I'm taking you all for a journey to my English test standards, Rhythms of Life.
Hope you like it. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Rishigazi Kanan from Sandanesha CJS School. I am studying in 7th standard. I am here to present my notebook and textbook based on the unit 4, The Rhythms of Life. Let's watch it. are the activities in my English textbook. These are the activities in my English notebook. student studying in Sandresa CJT School, Ernapla. Today, I am going to show you my textbook and notebook and the activities in it. Let's go! Unit 4, Rhythms of Life To my mother, question answers from the poem. About the order Some lines about mother Activity 1, write a few sentences about your mother. Activity 2, prepare a thank you card to your teacher. In the modern world, Somebody's mother. About the other. Question answers from the poem. Activity 1. Identify from the poem the lines or expression that suggest the following. Activity 2. Alteration. Activity 3. Rhyming. Activity 4. A couplet. Some lines using couplet, an acrostic, an acrostic poem about my mother. The wooden cup about the other. Question answers from the story. Activity one. How would you care your grandparents? Activity two. Recollect some stories that told by your grandparents. Activity 3. Write a memorable incident with your grandparents. Activity 4. How happy Robertino and his grandfather were in the kitchen. Activity 5. Describe any occasion when your family and relatives got together. Activity 6. Make a grandparents day card. Activity 7. Questions, answers, comments or remarks from the story. Activity A. The story will. Write the story, a wooden cup, in your own words. Activity 8B. Make a story will in your own words. 
This story. Activity 9. How did Robertino bring back love and happiness to his home? Activity 10. What are the things that make a house a happy place to live? Activity 10b. Write about a happy home. Activity 11. A project work. Report on it. A village kura. Question answers from the story. About the other. Activity A. Classify the expressions in a village Pura. Activity A B. Various sights and sound at school or marketplace. At school. At market. About some special days. Activity 1. Read the passage and identify such words like a fork of shape. Fill in the blanks. Activity 2. Read a village Pudam once again and find out the words that refer to sound. Activity 2b. Find out the meaning of the word, following words. Words. Meaning. Activity 3. List of some everyday actions. Activity 4. Filling the blanks. Activity 5. Say what the fog, the eagle, the sea do. Activity 5b. What do the following words suggest? Activity 6. Read the passage and note how the verbs change when the subject is singular or plural. Activity 6b. Rewrite the passage 1 using the plural form. Activity 6c. Column A and Column B. General truth, habit, universal truth. Activity 6d. Find out the verbs in the simple present. Activity 6e. What did he do yesterday? Activity 7. Past habit happened in the past. Activity 7b. The words lifted and show. What do you notice about them? How are they formed? Activity 7c. Regular verbs, irregular verbs. Activity A. Filling the blanks. Answers. Activity 8a. List the words used in the past. Activity 8b. Rewrite the poem in the form of a story. Activity 9. Make a diary and reuse the past forms. Activity 10. Complete the conversation using the correct forms of verbs. Activity 11. I am making a wooden cup, answered Robertino. Is the action complete or going on? Activity 11a. Read the following passage and identify the actions going on at the present time. Activity 11b. Complete the table with sentences from the passage. Actions that are continuing. Actions that happen regularly. Activity 11c. Think of a place where you would like to be. Close your eyes and imagine this place in a great detail. Activity 11d. Sentences in the present continuous tense. Activity 12. Here is a diary entry of a girl. There are some errors. Correct it. Activity 13. Functions are trends. Activity 13b, situations and its answers. Past tense, present tense, continuous tense from these chapters. Active words, moments. Spider web. Unit 4, rhythms of life. To my mother. Activity 1, something right about your mother. Activity 2, make a thank you card to your teacher. Somebody's mother, home and profile. Answers and the questions from this poem. Activity 1. Identify the lines or expressions. Activity 2. Alliteration. Activity 3. Rhyming words. Activity 4. A couplet. Activity 5. An acrostic poem. Activity 6. An acrostic poem about my mother. The wooden cup. Profile. Questions and answers. Activity 1 to 5. Answer the following. Activity 6. Make a grandparents day card. Activity 7. Questions, answers, comments, remark. Activity 8. Story wheel. Activity 8a. The story. Activity 8b. Write a story your own words. Activity 9. Write an answer for the question in a paragraph. Activity 10a. What are the things that make a house happy place to live? Activity 10b. Write about a happy home. Activity 11. A project work. Village Forum, questions and its answers, profile.
Activity A, Visual Auditory. Activity 1, read the following passage and fill in the columns. Activity 1, B, fill in the blanks. Activity 2, A, read a village program once again and find out the words that refer to sound. Activity B, find out the meanings of these words. Activity 3, list out some daily actions. Activity 4, fill in the blanks. Activity 5, A, say what the fog, the eagle and the sea do. B. What do the following words suggest? Activity 6. A. Read the passage again and note how the verbs change when the subject is singular or plural. Activity B. Rewrite passage 1. Makes necessary changes in the verbs forms. C. Fill in the columns. D. Passage 2. Find out the verbs in the simple present. List them. Activity E. Fill in the column. Activity 7. A. Fill in the column. Past habit happened in the past. Activity B. Look at the words, words lifted and show. What do you notice about them? How they are formed? Activity C. Fill in the columns. Regular words, irregular words. Activity 8. Fill in the blanks. A. List the words used in the past. B. Rewrite the poem in the form of a story. Activity 9. Write a diary entry. Use the past forms. Activity 10. Fill in the blanks. Activity 11. I am making a wooden cup. Answer draw but you know. Is the action complete or going on? My findings. A. Read the passage and identify the actions going on at the present time. B. Complete the column. Actions that are continuing. Actions that happen regularly. C. Think of a place where you would like to be. Close your eyes and imagine this place in a great detail. Activity 12. Here is a diary entry of a girl. There are some errors. Correct it. Activity 13. A. Fill in the columns. Functions. Utterance. B. Situations. Answer it. I think you all like my textbook and notebook and you got an idea about the activities. Thank you. Hi, I am Shivani Sunil from class 7D. So today I am here to show my textbook and notebook of the chapter Rhythm of Life. So let's see my textbook and notebook. Hi friends, myself Angel Rose. Today I am here to present my English textbook and notebook. Let's have a look. Unit 4 Rhythms of Life Now let's go to the notebook.